Hi guys, yes, it is CN Blue's new album, Recode. I've been holding on to this for a couple weeks now. I don't know why I've just like been really busy lately, so I haven't had time to film, but we will finally go through this. So their album is Recode. This one is the normal edition, and this one is the special edition. Since I ordered this from K-Town For You, I did get the K-Town For You pre-order cards, so we can look through them. Looks like you do get all of the members. Oh, okay. Oh god, my bad. Oh, you get a couple. All right then. Cool. Here's one of Yonghwa's cards. That's the back. And here's the other one. He's so cute. Yonghwa's my bias. He's been my bias since 2010. <laughs> yeah. And here's Minhyuk. The amount of Minhyuks there are <laughs> in K-pop. <laughs> here's his other card. I think I like this concept better, the darker one. I'm not really looking in the camera, so I'm really hoping it's focused. And then we have the Mangne Junction back and the other concept. Yeah, I really do like this one. Okay, so those were these super cute K Town View cards. I like that you got them all twice. <laughs> That's nice. Anyways, let's get into the album. We'll go through the standard edition first. Here's the front. This one's a box style, but the other one was a like book magazine kind of a style and here's the track list my favorite b-side is blue stars i think that one's my number one but i also like this one right here till then yeah but the title track though so good i really 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 enjoyed that it was a nice um song for their comeback since they have been enlisting they haven't had a comeback in so long so it was nice it was a nice comeback for their return anyways so let's take this out that's the inside contents, and we have the CD, blue, very fitting <laughs> for CM Blue. Oh, the CD feels, I don't know, it feels like, it feels fuzzy, but it's not. I don't know why I'm thinking that. So, um, I think photo cards might be under here, maybe, so, or not, I don't know. Here's the photo book. I could probably zoom in for this. Eighth mini album. Oh, it seemed there was two photo cards inside. Let me just zoom in because I had to zoom out or I had to be like um, far away for the limited edition. But um, yeah, because and I can't really see that I'm kind of like kneeling on the ground on a pillow. I could have brought a chair out, but I was too lazy to bring the chair out. So we are kneeling on the ground and I can't exactly see but yeah as i said their comeback was so good it was such a nice comeback um for their their first one in a while and their first one as three members it was just overall really nice and i'm glad they made such a nice comeback into the industry i'm glad they're still making music because if you don't know cn blue was like one of the first k-pop groups i ever heard <laughs> along with ft island um both cn blue and ft island were like my favorite boy groups back in the day. I know they're bands, but um, they were like my favorite, like when it came to male groups. Yeah, they were like my favorite and they have a special place in my heart always because if it wasn't for CN Blue and FT Island, I wouldn't have liked K-pop back when I did in 2010. I'm not gonna give all the credit to them because I, I definitely really liked girl groups back in the day and I was more into girl groups I feel like back then, but um, yeah, I definitely like will always have a special place or they will have a special place in my heart. I've always been a huge stan of them. I remember when I was in high school, when I was in grade eight, so it was my first year of high school. Um, it was like a known fact amongst all my friends and like even people that like weren't really my close friends, but like I was in the same classes as them and stuff. Even they knew I like loved CN Blue. I don't know why, I was just like a known CN Blue stan back then. And one of my friends, She's Korean. She actually, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, she actually had met CN Blue, I believe so, and she had a signed album. Since she knew I liked CN Blue so much, she brought the signed album into school and showed me. We were actually in cooking class together and that's where she showed me. <laughs> See, this is like me and my stories. Like CN Blue will bring back so many memories for me, but yeah, I'm just telling you like a random story. Um, she brought the signed album in. It was their, um, their first full album first step i think it was that one if not it was the album before but um i just clearly remember her bringing it in and uh, she showed me the signatures and then if i am remembering correctly i 
it's something like this. Um, since she did meet them, she got a photo with them and it was on a Polaroid. So like she is like posing with the members and someone took a picture with a Polaroid and she showed me that too. But I do know for a fact the album was signed and it was signed to her. I don't know how she met them. I, I just can't remember. It was a long time ago now. That was like over 10 years ago now. But I just remember freaking out. I was like, no way, like this is their album and they signed it. Like, I just couldn't believe it. And I know she was so excited to show me because she knows how much I loved CM Blue because I would always talk about them. So that's like a random fact. I was just a huge CM Blue stan. It was no one. <laughs> Yonghwa was my bias like ever since then and everyone knew how much I loved him. Yeah, <laughs> that was that. I really missed them. So I'm really glad that they made a comeback. I don't know, what, oops. I don't know why this was sitting on my desk for so long. I should have unboxed it sooner because this did come out in like November, but if you watched my haul video, I ordered this with the NCT Departure albums from K-Town For You, so you know there was a delay with those Departure albums, so yeah, there was a major delay in getting this, unfortunately. But that's the lyrics. I feel like I was really slow in this because I wanted to like get my story in while I was filming the photo book. You get random things here. Okay, it looks like you get all of the members' postcards here. So we will go through those. Here is Yonghwa's poster. Or not poster, I meant postcard. Did I say poster? You do also get a poster, I can see that. Here's Minhyuk. And here is Jungshin. All of these members act, they all act, and I highly suggest checking out their dramas. They're all in really great dramas. I. Would highly suggest checking them out as actors, <laughs> as well as singers. And then you get a folded poster. Let's just bring it out because this is a poster. Here's the poster. They look so cute in these sweaters. <laughs> Very adorable. And a photo card. You do get two cards. So we'll bring out one. We got Jiangshin. Look how cute. I like the pink tone to it actually. <laughs> Looks very cute. So that is Junction's photo card. And we also got, aw, <laughs> why are these cards so cute? I have a Minhyuk card. I like his sweater and then his little collared shirt underneath. That is very cute. Very, very, very cute. Now we will go through the limited edition. Here's the front. This one is matte and the other one was, well, they're both matte, but this is like a soft matte. And the other one like didn't have this velvety soft kind of feel, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what comes in this one. So you do get photo cards in this, as well as other types of things in here. Is this like, okay, I just wanna make sure that it's in frame, because it's kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Um, just earlier today, like before, I unboxed this album because I was like busy doing things today and I like to listen to music on my CD player while I'm busy doing things like packaging up sales, like albums I sold. So I was doing that and setting up the labels on my computer and everything and um, my printer was like blocking my closet which has lots of albums inside. So I was like, I don't want to touch that, we're just going to leave it and I had to like pick albums that are like outside my closet. And I was looking at the CM Blue albums just sitting on my desk, I was like, I was looking at the CM Blue album. Just sitting on my desk i was like i really want to play that <laughs> but it was like sitting on my desk sealed still because i needed to unbox it so i was like okay you know what i'm just gonna like open it and sneak the cd out i won't look at anything <laughs> i like took the photo book and everything out i was not looking i didn't want to see any random things i didn't really want to see anything so i just took the cd out <laughs> and played it so yeah i i don't know why i was like in the sea and blue mood <laughs> I was in the mood for listening to CM Blue songs, so, and yeah, so, just being honest. <laughs> but I never saw any random inclusions, I didn't look through the photo book, I just like flipped them out so I can get to the CD at the bottom, and yeah, I had a nice day listening to CM Blue on my CD player. <laughs> oh, I like this sweater, very cute. I'm just so relieved to have these albums now, so relieved. If you don't know CM Blue, I have a feeling this unboxing won't get checked out by a lot of people because I feel like no one really 
cares about CM Blue these days, which I think is very sad. CM Blue are one of my favorite groups. I will always be a fan of them and I'm so, so glad they're still making music because they have such great discography. Please check them out. Honestly, they have great music. Your ears will be blessed if you take a listen to them. Um, maybe I can make some suggestions. I know, I just thought of a video idea now. I'm always like trying to think of something new, something different, you know, to like film as a video. Maybe I can make a video like suggesting songs for people that want to get into certain groups. But I feel like I want to do that for more underrated groups that no one really knows or checks out. Because like, if I do it for the popular groups, like everyone knows. So I was thinking about doing that just now. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to like do something new. Yeah, we need to start a new trend. <laughs> yeah, I think starting trends in the unboxing community is cool. I like see when you I like seeing when new trends go around. I really like this photo book. I think I like the photo book in the limited edition more. They were like more softer, if that's the word. This is such a good title. It's like more of a slower song, but it's really good. Like this is the kind of slow song I really enjoy. I feel like slow songs, like I find them either like not boring, but just like very slow. Like, I mean, they are slow songs, but, or there's like the slow songs that are like golden. Like, oh my God, this sound, like you can just feel it in your body, how good it is. <laughs> that was kind of weird, but I hope my point came across normal. I don't know. <laughs> That was the CD. And let's just put this on my bed. And let's take out the random things. I know oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Look at them making a little heart. Aw. <laughs> I mean, it's a little deformed, their heart. But they tried. They tried. I will give that to them. <laughs> this is so cute. I like that. Very cute. And what is this, a bookmark? What is this? Oh, I think so. Oh, cute. Oh, is this random? Oh my god, Minyak. That's very cute. And they wrote a little message. Well, Minyak did. That's Minyak's message. Voice is their fandom name, by the way. Okay, that is the bookmark. And you get two photo cards again. Let's hope I get a Yonghwa so I can like have all the members' cards. Let's see. We got... Oh, another Junction. Okay, okay. It's such a cute card though. I cannot complain with this one. Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, we are just getting a crap ton of Junction photo cards, but I am not complaining. <laughs> that is very cute. Um, although this might be hard because I don't know how many people actually collect CM Blue, but if anyone has Young and wants to trade one of my Junctions, that would be great because yeah. <laughs> Because Younghua is my bias, and like, out of out of all three members, I still didn't pull his card. What? What? <laughs> it's okay. Um. Anyways, so that was my unboxing of CM Blue Recode. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Bye!